Hello, my name is Robbie Cumming, and this is my YouTube channel. It's a bit, it's a bit different over here, isn't it? It's a little bit wacky. You don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what's going to happen. So what we're doing is we're raiding my photo archives from my phone, which I've downloaded onto my iPad because I'm filming with my phone. I didn't think of that, did I? At the moment, I'm sort of in limbo land, quite literally, just waiting, hovering around, going up and down the canal. Um, mooring up and getting ready for the next series of Canal Boat Diaries. But at the moment I just don't know what's going to happen. Definitely we'll be doing more promotions for my CD. Uh, 22 tracks of my own songs that you, you can hear on YouTube and also on the TV. Anyway, let's see what's on my photo album reel. What we're gonna find, I've, I've got some idea. <laughs> I'm just gonna start with a basic one. With a basic one. This is one that I filmed. Oh, wait a moment. It's all got the dates on it. 20th of February. This is just a nice shot of me coming back to the boat. It's something that I have to do quite a lot. You just put the camera down at a crazy angle and um, yeah, do whatever you are gonna do anyway. And then you, uh, yeah, <laughs> in this case, I have to come all the way out again and collect the camera. Yeah, so I've picked up the phone and uh, no one's stolen it. <laughs> it's not really a worry I have, but it can happen. Next is a sequence here about my stove. Tool of the week. It's like a 15 in one decorator's tool. Love this one. I'm just get in here and I can just pop all of that old cement out of it. This was sealant that's just gone hard. That's the fire rope. It's a bit knackered, doesn't it? I've got some spares. but it's not it. But I reckon I can tidy it up. Using just my finger and some washing up liquid. The more time you spend faffing around with these sorts of things, I find the more the the, the worse the job is. You know, you keep playing with it and they just all the little holes open up. So you can't be too perfect with it. Just got to get the job done, mate. There we go. That'll do. Ah, look at that. Lovely fire going. And the results at the time look good, but actually since then it's cracked. I've used the wrong type of sealant, haven't I? So, you know, don't do what I do. Just... <laughs> Maybe do it in the same way I've done, but with the right product. Maybe a sealant that will cope with the highest temperatures, that's what you should get. Oh, right, got me running along the towpath. <laughs> God. I'm trying to keep fit, and one of the ways that I like to do that, and also to look out for the next mooring spot, is just to go for a run along the canal. I'm also doing a lot of CrossFit at the moment with a friend. Absolutely ruined, and it's all this guy's fault. Tony, take a bow. <laughs> That's my job. <laughs> you absolute psycho. This is what we've been doing today. Look at that. What does RFT stand for again? Three rounds for time, 50 double unders, or uh, one minute on the ski edge, which Robbie did. Then you've got 10 kettlebell swings. 10 of those. Next, 10 box jumps. Yep. Ten devils press and everybody hates those. Let's have a launch. Yes, that's better. And then Romanian deadlifts. And three rounds of that. 
He's gonna destroy you. Nice work, mate. I came in at 7.34 and Robbie came in at very respectable, very soon after. That's not bad. 18.36. Nice one, Tony. Well done, buddy. <laughs> Ah, here we go. So next we've got the next leg of the journey from last time, okay, out of Braunston. So this is along the North Oxford Canal. I've got some clips here. Let's just roll the sequence, see where we get to. I've just travelled through on my boat, it's the straightened part that was, yeah, built after the, the original course of the canal and you can still see it if you look from the air, but yeah, it's quite extraordinary really, a bit boring though, a bit straight <laughs> and also you can't see because the, the cutting that it goes through, there's banks on e either side, lots of trees. filming this Fellows Morton and Clayton boat using cinematic mode on my iPhone, just testing it out, 4K and all this sort of stuff, just to see if it, it works really, but I don't know. Still way to go on that software, I think. Then, what else have we got here? Right, this next clip is shot in portrait mode, so forgive that, but um, it's something that happened to me. It was not very much fun. Uh, someone came along and did this to the bottom of my truck. They chopped out the catalytic converter because, um, well, it's quite a common thing. Got three different precious metals, rhodium, pal palladium, and some other one that I can't remember. But if you melt them down, apparently you can get some precious metals out of it. I don't really understand why they're doing that. It's cost me 350 quid just for the the exhaust and the catalytic converter because the way they've taken it out it's just meaning I had to hook up to the whole thing but luckily I was there's a local garage and there's this really cool classic car that he's, this guy's working on here I don't I'm not a petrol head I don't know much about cars but I thought oh that looks cool and then what's this we've got oh yeah UK TV play is an app you can get now which has some of the episodes of canal boat diaries on it I think series one is on it at the moment um, and I just thought that's cool yeah there's there's my little there's my little TV show all right now on to another problem <laughs> I basically had my water filter I kept hearing it go 
every now and then. Like, just like sort of the sound of the water pump refilling and then just like the water sort of <laughs> just like really weakly pushing out again. And yeah, this uh, fitting had snapped. But let's just jump in this sequence because I filmed it all this together uh, and let's see what happens. <sighs> Sometimes things happen like like this and you think it's the end of the world. I've got no water. One part of the system is compromised and I can't easily bypass it. So it has to go through this filter. But thankfully a boater that's moored next to me called Patrick, uh, I helped him moored up, moor up the other day and he's now helped me big time by filling up my kettle with fresh water. I've split it between saucepans, I've got some spare, and I've filled up a cup of water, and I put the kettle on the stove just for a cup of tea now. Oh, I've just got a lot of washing up to do, that's all. Actually, that was a good point. I haven't got any clean mugs. Oh, yes, I have. I've got my spare one that my mate Scott gave me. And this is a spare mug because not allowed to advertise on TV, am I? I'm just playing Game of the Week. Actually, this current moment of time is a game called Hearthstone. It's all about playing cards. I find it quite addictive. It's a little bit like chess. There's strategy involved. <laughs> I think. <laughs> Woohoo! Well, after a full day of actually ringing round and trying to find the right shop to get this part from, I've tried all the plumbing supplies places. One of them has the part and all I want to do is go and pick it up tomorrow. But for now, I've bought a separate push fit joint just to bypass the filter. So I've got running water again. I can actually have a shower. <laughs> I've had to buy some mineral waters that I, so I can drink. Because obviously the, the filter allows me to be able to drink from my tank. Which is probably disgusting inside. I don't even want to think about it. But for now, that's sorted. Once I'd finally got my new fittings that I needed, I had to then remove this push fit workaround which became very sweary very quickly. Yeah, that's me at my worst. <laughs> but um, managed to finally get the push fittings off, as you can see, and I can finally install the brass fittings that I've bought that will allow me to connect once again, the water filter to my water supply. Come on, come on. Yes. <laughs> oh, a bit more. Yeah, I think that's enough. Right, moment of truth. dry. Right, here we go. Yes. Brilliant. I'll take that off now. That was reminding me not to drink out of the tap. <laughs> so it just goes to show with a little bit of elbow grease and the right know-how you can achieve anything and a lot of swearing and I just need to go to bed now. It took far too long. It's bloody useless. But I've done it myself. I've DIY'd my own plumbing. And for the moment, it's holding anyway. Yeah, I think I might turn the water off overnight. Just, just in case. <laughs> uh, this is when there was a cow that apparently fell in the canal. Loads of fire engines, the fire rescue service turned up. The cow had since got out of the canal again the farmer had a recount and they, they were all back again so it was a whole yeah much ado about nothing 
And this was another thing where I thought, shouldn't someone be doing something about this? <laughs> There's a massive fire raging on at this farm. The fire engine turned up and then just went away and it just carried on burning. So I thought, oh, I'll just see if I can get up there with the drone and see what that looks like from the sky. And it looked worse. I thought, oh my God. But then I saw the sunset and that made everything all right. <laughs> Here's me in the studio recording voiceover for Canal Boat Diaries. Fire in the booth. Shout out James Brindley, Thomas Telford, William Jessup in the house. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, I, having a bit of a laugh now. It's It was all very, very serious when we first started. It can be quite a serious working environment at the BBC, so I like to take the, the mickey as much as I can. I almost said piss then, but I didn't. Um, then we've got a lovely shot of my boat at one of my favourite moorings on the North Oxford Canal. And then I get to talk to you about my Crete holiday. I went on holiday recently, seven nights, way too long, at a time when everything's pretty much closed. The whole place is a building site because all the hotels are being upgraded or just fixed. The weather was really cold as well, but let's show you some funny clips we've got here. Here's Pub of the Week, way Pub of the Week. We've got a classic resort Irish bar run by a guy called, well he said his name was Sean, I said what's, what's your real name? <laughs> I mean, what's your Greek name? And he said Soterius, uh, which means salvation. So I thought, well I'll come here, have a drink, it'll be brilliant, the party will come to me. No such thing, there's hardly anyone around. I mean look at this, this is the Malia Strip, um, no one about. That, that's the party central and all the only being that's around is a load of cats. There were so many cats everywhere. This is my hotel. My view was looking up to the mountain, so behind me was where the beach was, but it was not the weather for uh, sunbathing. And the hotel room is all right. It's quite comfy and cosy, and it obviously a change to having a boat. But the water pressure was even worse than what I had on my, on my narrow boat. Um, it, it just keeps shutting off every now and then, which is really weird. Here's the view of the coast. I just felt like it was a seaside town that used to be lovely and now is completely spoiled. This place is called Hesonisos. This is on a sunny day, but as you can hear, lovely sounds of people working away. <laughs> Yeah, very hard to relax when everyone else is working. This is on the flight back. But my favourite part is actually the flying, because I just love looking down over things like the mountains. That's the Alps there. Absolutely breathtaking. It's only 70 quid on the plane, so it's, all, it's worth it just for that. Um, and then you go down one string uh, or up one string, and then you've taken the route on a different string, and then you've got the same thing going. Here is my friend Gary and his dog Connor, who's looking away from us. <laughs> Connor! There we go. Um, he's teaching me guitar theory. I, I know how to play the guitar, obviously. I know a few chords, I know, how, I know a few melodies. I know how to restring my guitar, tune it up. But he taught me some even better ways of even tuning the guitar up, and also scales, chord structure, just allow me to understand it a bit more. And su such a lovely guy, such a lovely bloke. No. <laughs> so now we can communicate with aliens. <laughs> anyway, that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you again next time. Bye. My CD. Bye. Buy my CD. Bye. It's only about eleven pounds from H and B, Amazon, uh, FOP, and um, directly from the label KWS. Thank you very much. Bye. My CD.